higher tier physics students, you should expect to have a question that looks a bit like this on your GCSE physics paper too. Now, the question is a multi-step question, meaning it needs more than one equation to solve it. And you'd expect to have one on a higher tier paper, so let's get good at solving them so they don't take that long and we can focus on other questions on the paper. So in this question, we've got a force, which is 270,000 newtons. We've got a mass of 240,000 newtons. Uh, we don't know the acceleration. We do know the initial velocity, which we use the symbol U for. That's 60 meters per second. That's its initial speed or its initial velocity. Then it slows to a stop. Its distance is what we're trying to find in this question. So what equations could we use to help us out with this question here? So there's one that should sort of jump out. If we know the force and the mass, we can work out the acceleration straight away. So F equals M times A. If we put our numbers in, um, so 270,000 is equal to the uh, mass 240,000 times by acceleration, all we've got to do to find the acceleration is divide the force by the mass. So in this case, that's 270,000 divided by 240,000, which is going to give us an overall of 1.125 meters per second squared. So now we've got that acceleration, that's three of our six marks got already. So even if you can't get the final answer, work out something that you know is correct and your workings are correct, and that will help us out. Now it's important to note this is technically negative acceleration because it's decelerating. That's gonna be a bit useful later. Now we've got the acceleration, we now have u, v, and acceleration. We don't have s, the distance. We can use this equation to work out what the distance is. v squared equals minus u squared plus v squared minus u squared equals 2as. So what we're going to do is say 0 squared, which is our final velocity, minus 60 squared equals 2 times the acceleration times by the distance. Now we note here that obviously the left-hand side of the equation can be simplified by quite some. So we can simplify the left-hand side of the equation just by getting rid of the 0, because 0 squared is 0. So that leaves us with minus 60 squared, which is 3,600. And let's simplify the right-hand side by doing two lots of 1.125, which gives us minus 2.25 times by the distance of the thing we're trying to find. Because I've got negatives on both sides of the equation, they can cancel. And we then have 3,600 divided by 2.25, which if you work that out on our calculator to find the overall distance, is going to be... 1,600 meters, which sounds reasonable for an airplane. It's quite a long distance, but that sounds about right. So if you found that useful, uh, comment in the comments below if you have any other questions you'd like me to have a go through.